This video is supported by PCB GoGo. Today I would like to present you one of my projects which was a lot of fun for me. I had always wanted to build a stepper motor from a simple DC motor and these small geared motors have caught my eye for a long time. My solution is very compact and I'm sure you will like it. This DC motor can be controlled by the signal's direction as well as step like normal stepper motor with driver, only that my solution already brings the driver. But let's compare a stepper motor with my solution. This is a normal stepper motor which is used in many projects like 3D printers and the like. We have a step angle of 1.8 degrees, a holding force of about 3.7 kilograms on one centimeter. That basically means the stepper motor can hold 3.7 kilograms with a one centimeter lever. At this maximum load, the motor needs 1.5 amps on each phase. The motor weighs 255 grams. Now the second motor comes into the round, a gear motor with extended shaft from Belolu. We have here the high power version with 1.6 amps maximum current and a gear ratio of 380 to 1. This one manages an impressive 5 kilograms holding power on the centimeter and weighs just 10 grams. Well, with the additional technology in housing, we might get to 20 grams. You can see what I'm getting at. This much smaller motor creates more holding power and uses less power. But that's not all. It also controls the position of the motor and has a servo function that constantly corrects the position of the motor automatically. Of course, we still have to make a few changes to the technology before this motor understands step as well as direction signals. So let's unscrew the little guy and take a closer look at the technology behind it. First we take off the cover. As you can see, I soldered two small PCBs in a stacking process to the contacts of the motor. Now I want to introduce them to you. For this, I have not yet soldered PCBs here on the table. The first PCB is soldered directly to the motor and is called X-Moto Driver. In the middle, there is a hole for the through shaft. On this shaft, there is a magnetic disc with three embedded magnets each. This generates 12 steps per revolution with two hall sensors. The hall sensors are mounted in a 90 degree angle on the driver and send their signals to the second PCB, which I will introduce in a moment. Of course, we still need a DC motor driver. I chose the DRV8837 for this. This one comes in a tiny 2x2mm package and is able to control the motor's direction and speed via PWM signals. It is also capable of stopping the motor and holding the load. All well and good, but now how do we turn a DC motor into a stepper motor? This is done by the second board, which is connected to the driver via the large contacts with plus and minus, as well as a plug-in socket strip and is called Xmoto STM. As the name already suggests, a microcontroller is installed here, which takes over the task of a stepper motor driver. At one input, it listens to the step impulses, at the other to the direction signals, step and DIR and moves the motor via the motor driver accordingly. It constantly compares whether the motor is in the correct position. If not, the position is actively controlled. So it is a servo function that always corrects the position of the motor. The signals between the boards are transmitted via a one millimeter pin header. This includes the signals of the sensors and the PWM signals with which the motor is controlled. Since the motor needs 6 volt, but our microprocessor needs 3.3 volt, I added a very efficient step-down converter. Additionally, an LED to see if the motor is under power and for diagnostic messages. The whole thing in a housing and ready is our DC stepper motor. So let's test if this really works. 
As a simple example, I installed the mother of all motion control software called GRBL on an Arduino Nano as delivered. If you look at the pinout of the software, you can tap the step signals for the x-axis at pin D2 and direction signals at pin D5. Then connect 5 volts to plus and ground to minus and control the motor via serial console. So, that should be it for now. In my next video, I will talk about programming, configuration and other things. If you're interested in this topic, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. To not miss anything, just activate the bell below this video. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let me introduce a PCB manufacturer to you. PCB GoGo, our sponsor for this video. PCB GoGo is a quick-turn PCB prototype manufacturer from China with over 10 years in the industry. They make prototype PCBs in as fast as 24 hours. You can just upload your Gerber file on pcbgogo.com to make your own PCB. Their services are reliable and affordable, certified by UL and ISO. It only costs $5 for two layers FR4 PCB within 100 plus 100 millimeters. They don't only offer FR4 boards, but Rogers, Coppers and Flex are also available. Click the link in the description to start to build your PCB and get a $50 coupon for your first order.